Hey girls, today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how I've been doing my jams lately. This was a requested video on using the hairspray method. Um, if you have been around Jamberry at all, you might have heard different ways of doing things and one of the suggestions has been to use hairspray um, to help the longevity of your jams. Now, my last application, I kept my jam berries on for 16 days. And I did use hairspray prior to um, warming them and applying them, which I'm going to show you to do today. So whether or not there's any truth to um, having the hairspray increase the longevity, I don't know. But having used it for a while, I'm kind of scared to stop doing it. But I'm going to show you it's just one extra little step and it's pretty quick. So first we're going to prep our nails. Now, I have oily nail beds, so I do not use alcohol. I do not use... Um, nail polish remover, I use pure acetone. I suggest using pure acetone because you can really tell when you use this how it dries out your nails. And I'm gonna show you this. I've already done a couple of mine. I'm doing um, the black, white, and gold stripe. This is actually a horizontal stripe, but I cut mine to fit, so I'm doing um, some vertical and some horizontal stripes. Okay, so there's my nail, I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I've applied the acetone, okay? Now, I do this again right before I apply each jamboree. I've already done it, every single one of them pretty good, but I kind of swipe it one more time. I don't know if you can tell it's kind of white and dried out. There it goes, okay? So now what I do before I take my jam, which this one is going to be a vertical stripe, I very lightly spray my finger, okay? So just, and this is just, I don't know, in the dollar section at Walmart, you know, with the travel stuff. I just spray it, I let it air dry. I don't touch it at all because I don't want any of my oils to transfer back onto my nail. The whole point is I want a dry nail, no oil. So if I touch it at all, I'm defeating that purpose. It's another reason I use tweezers to apply mine. Now, lately I've been using an iron as my heat source. I do not touch my jam to the actual iron. I just use it as a heat source because I live in Texas and it is very, very hot. And the last thing I want is extra hot air blowing on me. So I'm gonna take my tweezers. I'm gonna pull my jam berry off of the backing. Um, I'm gonna be filming a tips and tricks later on today, but what I wanna show you is this is a simple, simple trick that I wish somebody would've just told me. If you're applying on your left hand, hold your jam on the right hand corner. You always wanna have a flat hand down. I'm on a table right here. I'm gonna put my hand on the table and apply it this way because it's solid surface, okay? So what I'm gonna do, can you see my iron right here? I'm going to warm up the back, see how that's going, and you probably will be able to tell it's going to, let me just turn it just a little bit. Can you see how it kind of made a different, kind of curves a little. I don't know if you can see that on there. Okay, so once I've got the back warm, I'm going to apply it. Excuse, you're gonna to to see my forehead for a second because I get down real close to make sure I'm getting it close to my cuticle. And stick. And then I just use my uh, cuticle stick. I use a rubber one and I think I've got this one on crooked. Ooh, I got it on really crooked. But that's okay, I can just adjust it. I'm just pulling my jam. If you see why you do it, it helps too. I don't like doing these on camera because it makes me nervous that I'm gonna mess up, which I already have messed up a little bit, but that's all right. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna show you how to work out the problems, okay? So I am pressing, pressing, pressing. And I already have an area that I see is gonna be a problem because I messed up and I had to pick it up and move it, which means I've got a little bit of a bubble on the side. You see that right there? Okay, this little piece, let me show you, right there. You see how that's puckered a little bit? I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that, okay? So I do have my iron here. One of the things that you can do is take your tweezers. 
apply your tweezers to the iron, okay? Because remember, heat and pressure are essential, essential to getting these down. Now, instead of putting, I'm not going to put my hand on the iron. What I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up my, actually, I think my iron, my iron went off. Okay, I'm going to warm this up and then press that down. Ta-da! Do you see that? It went away. Now, I'm going to do this all the way around because this one I um, moved and I really want to make sure I have my edges done really well so that I don't have any little lifting or puckering on that, okay? Now, I have not trimmed at all yet, okay? I'm going to show you a couple other things before I do this. Now, I'm taking this extra step because y'all watched me mess up, right? So you can see you don't have to be perfect every single time to get a good application. You just don't. So this does, doing it this way, you still get quite a bit of heat. I'm just taking some extra time to really um, go around my edges, okay? Make sure I don't have any little bubbles, okay? Now, another request I got was how do I prevent lifting at the tip? Okay, I'm going to show you a couple different ways. I'm going to show you the wimpy way and I'm going to show you the brave way. I'm going to show you the wimpy way first, okay? I'm going to take a rice bag. Now, you can make this with just a sock. You take a sock and put some rice in it. Not the um, quick, not the minute rice, but the slow cook rice, okay? Now, this is another reason I like having my iron set up because I don't have to get up and microwave anything. I think it gets this rice bag a little bit hotter too, okay? Now, I'm going to take my rice bag and I have a baggie right here, okay? I'm going to wrap the baggie, okay, around the tip. Of, I just wrapped it really securely. You can see how I'm, I'm using my middle finger, aren't I, today? Isn't that wonderful? So you're going to wrap it really closely around, okay? Now I'm going to take my hot rice bag and just apply it across the tip. Now what the baggie does is it displaces the heat, the heat evenly across your nail. In addition, you can apply a little bit hotter um, pressure to yourself this way and not risk burning it, okay? Because you know how much heat you can take, right? Okay, so this is sort of, I call it the wimpy way. However, this is what I use for kids. Um, this is what I use for maybe anybody who's really heat sensitive or or scared, okay? Because I know some of y'all are scared to do what I'm going to do next. Okay, so now, again, this is the non-whippy way. I don't typically use my iron. This one's pretty hot. But what you can do, I do not suggest doing this if your nails do not extend past your fingernails. Uh, but your nails, so, uh, fingers. So see how mine's longer? This one I've already kind of cut back a little bit. But I've got a little bit of extension, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not leave it there, but I'm going to tap, 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 just tap my edge. I cannot feel this at all. If you feel it, you're not, you're leaving it there too long. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. I actually do this with my flat iron. I have a chi. What I do is I turn it on and then I turn it off so that it doesn't get too hot, okay? You can also do this around your edges if you're brave, um, like this. See, I got too close. That's why I don't like doing it with the big iron. I use my chi. My friend, um, Janet does hers, like, does the whole thing on a flat iron. I think she's crazy, but it works for her, okay? So if, you're, the, if you just do your tips, you just barely touch it to your tips, you will not burn yourself. Again, if your um, fingernail doesn't extend past your fingertip, don't do it this way because you'll burn yourself, okay? Um, that's just a good way to get your tips sealed. Another thing I recently learned that I'm trying this application time is to take a, um, a cold freezer bag, okay? This is, you know, I got it from the hospital when I had my kids. Um, infamil little thing, you can buy these at the grocery store or whatever, to just cool it down quickly, okay? Um, you apply so much heat, so then you can cool it down really quickly using this. I'm just rolling it across, kind of counteracting all that heat. This also means that I can file it faster. All right, remember when you're going to file, you do not want to file up and down, okay? You don't want to file side to side. You want to file completely down, just in downward motion. Now, Jamberry will say to file at a 90 degree angle, which is straight up and down. I 
tilt my, uh, my file just a little bit because I personally like having um, just the slightest tiny bit of my nail showing um, because I use my nails as tools even though I know you're not supposed to, but come on, let's get real. Most of us have um, phones you pop open where you um, charge your phone. That's using your fingernail as a toil tool, okay? All right, so there you go. Do you see that? There is the smooth application. You see how it's sealed? Now, if I need to throughout the week, I can just come back and apply a little bit more heat. Um, my mom actually said that she was digging in her flower bed and had some lifting on her tips. And she went in and she scrubbed, and she had dirt in it. She scrubbed all the dirt out. And she went in and reheated her fingernails. And in her email, she said, wow, they just went right back down, just like you told me they would. I know, I told you they would. I know this. So um, try it, ladies. Don't, just because you have a little m mess up, um, don't think you can't fix it because you can. Even if it happens later in the week, um, you've had them on for a few days and maybe you have um, snagged it on something, zap some heat on it, okay? It will help, it will help, it will help, I promise. So there's your hairspray method. Um, with the baggie and some extra heat, you've got your wimpy way and you've got your brave way. You pick what's best for you, okay? Again, if you have any questions, uh, message me. I would be happy, happy to um, help you out. If you're wanting to do a home party or um, a Facebook party, also just shoot me an email. Make sure you like my Facebook page. And um, you can always get a hold of me, um, beautyandjams at gmail.com. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.